Hey everybody, how are you? Welcome back to my bedroom which is still in the process of being done up and what you can see you can't really tell that the walls are all different colors and yeah anyway it's going to be done in the next few weeks hopefully I want it to be done before the Wave Got It Traffin Festival which is horrifyingly soon. Anyway as you probably know for the last few weeks I've been in New Zealand on my much much needed holiday. What a bit of sunshine and some nice people can do for the spirit. Wow. Anyway on the way back I had a stop over in Sydney so I got to spend the day with Avelina de More, the lady who designs you know the Black Friday bags. This is our original collaboration, the original clutch bag. It's been so cool seeing people around with them. It's just such an awesome feeling. But anyway, uh, there are, as the title suggests, two new bags in the collection. It's now like becoming a collection, which is pretty cool. So today I'm here to show you the two new bags in the Black Friday collection by Avelina de More, and that is and. This is the one that everybody's been really looking forward to, the great big one. I don't know if you can see just yet, but it's pretty fucking spacious. And this being the version 2 clutch bag. I might move my camera back a little bit, trifle. Is that better? Now I think you can see a little bit more the fact that the room needs some desperate painting and such. Okay, so before I show you my meeting with Avelina in Sydney, it was really cool. We talked a lot about this bag. So first of all, I will show you this one. Let's have a look around the thing. I haven't taken it out for a spin yet. I've just been kind of posing with it, you know, <laughs> putting on a nice outfit and going, mm, mm. like they're kind of styled after my style. So they pretty much match every outfit I have, which is awesome. Avelina also has a video about this bag on her channel if you want to go have a look at that as well. Gosh, let's just look at the inside of this thing. Oh. At the inside is lined like all these all these things are lined. I, I wanted everything to be lined in blood red and this really is once again blood red and it's faux suede so it feels like really luxurious. I don't know what you can see but there are two pockets on this side. I would personally use those for keeping stuff that I really wanted quick access to like my phone or a little pocket mirror or something. I'm really paranoid. People say that I'm vain but the truth is I'm paranoid. I'm always pulling a mirror out of my bag like many times throughout the day just to make sure my face isn't falling apart. There is a zip up pocket over here. Then there's a kind of partition. I don't know what you call that, a part partition. <laughs> and well, I'd say another sort of separate zipped up pocket here. That's really useful. Actually, you know what? I'd be tempted just to fill that with makeup rather than carry like a separate makeup bag. I'd probably just use this pocket for putting makeup in. That's very clever. Like, you see what I mean? She's really good at designing stuff. <laughs> like the point of this bag was not only to look cool but also to be quite functional. Don't know if you can see in there but there's a little sign saying Black Friday by Avelina de More. All the materials on this bag are vegan so no worries there. Very nice faux leather, faux suede. I'm pretty sure this is velvet. It looks like velvet. And again like all the other things it's got this PVC raised bat wing on the front. It's not like the clutch bag where the wing is the flap this is just stuck there for decoration but yeah it is I don't know how well you can see that but it is raised like it's a bit padded and it's really cool. It has handles so it can be carried around that way or put over the shoulder like that and carried under the arm and it also has a detachable strap so you can wear it as a crossbody bag. On the back there is a crucifix zip pull pretty fancy. Open that up. I really just suggested this pocket as being somewhere to put like an ID card or I'd probably put my keys in there just because I hate fishing around for my keys. Something that you want to quickly access without having to actually open your bag. Up. The other practical thing about this is the enormous zip pulls, like this two big zip pulls on either side, which I really like. I'm in and out of my handbag many times a day. I always, I never leave my house without a bag. And a lot of them have these like annoying little zip pulls. So what I like about this one is it's got these two big, long, easy to find ones. So you can just open it right up. And it is spacious as fuck. You could fit so much stuff there. While we were in Sydney, um, I think we tried to see how much stuff you could fit in here. You could fit a lot of stuff. It also will fit the wallet. It's made of the same materials as the wallet. Can you see there? I love this wallet. I love it so hard. Let's just have another quick look at it. I have been using it. As you can see, it's full of my stuff. Same red suede, same black PVC, same faux leather. Also a little crucifix do that on the back. So basically, these things match absolutely perfectly and this wallet fits very very easily inside this bag. I think a lot of people have been worried about the spikes on the side like they are they are pointy they're not like sharp really but they're, they're positioned in such a way that when you're carrying the bag they're not actually touching you so there's no real way that they could actually be annoying unless you really purposely tried to 
spike yourself with them, which why would you do that? But I'm looking forward to taking this out into the world. Like I said, Wave Gothic Traffin is coming out pretty soon. So yeah, I think I'll probably be carrying this around at the festival. A lot of people also wonder about this sigil here, that is the sigil of Lucifer. It is a very important thing to me, but a lot of you, for religious reasons or whatever, do not want this. So there's the good news. This bag is available without the sigil. And in the case of this bag, there are two separate listings on the website. Of course, I will link to the website right below this video so you can go have a look for yourself. So there are two separate listings on the website, one with the sigil and one without. So this is the great big capacious spooky handbag that everyone's been really looking forward to. I know I have been, and now I'm really looking forward to taking it out. It's really cool to like have it here in person. It's pretty stylish. Now um, let's talk a little bit about the version 2 clutch bag. Like I've just shown you here, this is the original clutch which a lot of you have now which is awesome. And um, here is the version 2. You can tell at a glance that they are a little bit different. My favourite part about this clutch bag is that it is wider. It is a fair bit wider than the other one. And when you open it up there's no sort of pocket on the middle like this one here. Just for comparative purposes, this is the original one that has the zip up pocket in the center, whereas this one doesn't have that. So this clutch, unlike the other one, will fit the wallet inside very nicely. I mean, I don't think you could fit a heck of a lot more, but uh, yeah, like clutch bags are not meant to have loads of stuff in them. That's why we have over the shoulder bags and stuff. Like clutch bags are for, for your essentials, for going on dates and things where you don't want to be carrying a whole lot of stuff around. What I also really like um, <laughs> is that it, it really looks just like the wallet. It's really like just a bigger version of the wallet. The other differences are that it has velvet here instead of suede. It has a different strap. It has this one with chains on it. And the most noticeable feature I think is the lack of spikes on top. So no spikes on this one. Also there are two separate listings for this clutch bag as well. The one with the sigil and the one without the sigil. So I think that's really nice that there's the option of you know like if you really really don't want it there. But just, just so you can be assured it's a very positive symbol okay. To me it represents so many good things that I think are very important for a happy life, but that's just me. Don't make me explain it all in one go. It requires a lot of sort of tedious spade work and reading to really understand what the fuck I'm talking about. Right, now let's get on to my meeting with Avelina. I think I looked like a real rat bag that day and I was tired as fuck, but it was such a nice day. We took a nap, we ate some chips. I just got on with her really well. She was like, you know, I mean, when I talked to her on Skype, I can talk to her for hours. Just a, a very nice person who I have a lot of respect for. It was really cool to meet in real life. It's always a funny feeling. Like every time I've met one of you guys as well, it's always this funny feeling of like meeting someone you only know from the internet. It's like, oh my god, hey, we're like people in the world, wow. So this was me and Evelina meeting in Sydney. Aw, uh, yeah, anyway, Coming hello. Hello, so, uh, This is uh, Evelina Demoray, I'm not sure if I ever say your name correctly, I probably don't. I like how you say it. Oh, really? It's slightly different, but I like it. I'm considering <laughs> changing. You just change it. How I say my name. <laughs> Thanks for coming all the way to Sydney from where you are to, to just so cool to hang out with me to do. It's amazing to meet you. If you were not aware, this is the lady who designs all these beautiful bags and wallets that you're probably familiar with, that you've heard me talking about and see me wearing. Obviously today we're talking about this would be the version 2 of the clutch bag. New and improved. New and improved. Well, yeah, I, I really, really like it. So do I. I mean, I like the original one more, obviously, but like this is this one's a little bit different. It's like a second child. It's not like we love <laughs> more or less because you've got it. You can't like love more. That is a nice way to put it. Look at the red every oh, time I see that mix. red. Because we chose some really cool crucifixes on here, mm. they do imprint the suede a little oh. bit, but I'm like, is that really a big deal? Fashion over practicality people. Yeah. It's a little pocket like that would be for your phone. Well, I mean people yeah. have big phones these days. Obviously. I know, right? That's not not your phone, but it would probably fit my phone. Yeah, no. I've got, but, like a, I've got an iPhone ancient. Yeah, so. but you know what? It will fit the wallet. Yes, it fits the wallet and it matches the wallet it's a lot better. Completely, yeah. Yeah, I think that's so sweet. You have the bag that looks like this and then you open it and pull out a wallet that is the same. <laughs> <laughs> I look so at it and I'm like in the most humble way I'm like, I can't believe I fucking designed that. Like you I should be it. proud. You yeah. should be really proud. You're, you're allowed to feel good about something you've achieved. <laughs> and I said to you originally, like, oh, I like PVC, I like velvet, and I like bats, coffins, whatever. Should have this symbol on it. Then you just like went away and like very quickly came back with something like really around. good. 
It's, it's, it's amazing. <laughs> you really you get on with shit and I'm just like super, I'm just always impressed. I love that we changed this to velvet Yeah. Well. I yeah. wish I listened to you. Like, <laughs> or, you know what, I asked my manufacturer, I said, what's deeper, velvet or for suede? They said suede. It's still black, isn't it? It's still, still black. very black. But velvet's a little bit blacker. Yeah. Which is why I wear so much of it, even in the summer when it's a stupid time to wear velvet. Yeah. The way it catches the light, that it's padded, it's just yeah, gorgeous. Yeah, it's so sweet. Like it, it is, it's very elegant and classy, but mm. it does have that kind of cuteness to it too. Yeah, so, so I've changed the strap up so you can wear it as a shorter shoulder bag. So you can still undo the chain and wear it longer and crossbody. But I adore that you can also wear it like that. Now. Yeah, that looks really cute. It does. Or you could just take the strap off all together. I think by removing the inner pocket that we did this time, it just, oh, it made it so much more practical. Yeah, there's like so much more space inside. Yeah. Are yeah. we carrying them around at the festival? Festival zoo. Like, mm -hmm. cause there are, there's, there's a, a whole bunch of them season. coming up. Yeah. yeah. MP and Maraluna. Australia has no metal concerts now. What? No, no, no. Really? We used to have Big Day Out, we had Home Bake, uh -huh. and then we had Soundwave, and they were all bought by the same promoter and then shut down. What? So now we have none. Bullshit. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. Um, America, they're not doing Bats Day anymore after this year. Okay. And it's like, so what does America have now? It's like, it's America, and they don't have like a great big like, golf thing. So, and there's a lot change. of, like, there's a huge alternative, like, demographic in this country, you know? It's like, where is the outlet for these people? Are there any event planners watching? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Get to Come it. up with something. <laughs> it would be greatly appreciated yes. by a lot of people. Quick update on the oh, wallet. Yes. If you have pre-ordered them, 320 pre-orders oh, already. That's awesome. It is awesome. I can't wait for people to have them because I, I really love using mine. Like, it's a very practical wallet. It is. And it does yeah. feel kind of cool pulling it out. Doesn't it? Yeah, I've been using it for about a month. They should be ready to mail to me at the end of April, so I imagine if there are no delays, they should start shipping out to customers sometime in May. So I will definitely be in contact before then to confirm everyone's address and yeah, let you know when they've been shipped out. Yeah. Also, I have a lovely little video with this gorgeous lady on yeah. my channel as well. Yeah, I might link to that below or somewhere in this window. I don't know, I'll link to it. Yeah, but thank you for coming all the way to Sydney. Just thank you for having me on your channel. It's such an honor. Oh, thanks for coming to being on my channel. The, the, the honor is mine. So nice to see you. It's so nice to meet so you. Uh, it was really such a nice day. It was a really great day. So yeah, both of these bags are now on pre-order. Just so you know, it's pre-order. Just so you know that there will be a bit of a wait before the thing actually gets to you. Hopefully not too long, but that's really sort of out of it's definitely out of my power and it's out of Evelina's power as well. Although she does work extremely hard to make sure that everything moves along as quickly as possible. So yeah, I cannot give any kind of estimate as to when these will actually reach you, but it will be like as quickly as it can be, I guess. And I think it's worth waiting for. You know, these are a bit special. They're not mass produced. Not everyone's going to have one. I like how these things are so sleek and stylish, but also just so cool. You know, they really do, they really do match everything. Like the more I look at it, the more I'm seeing this. I just realized that along here, there's like PVC, this parts velvet as well. It's been really really amazing seeing your photos on Instagram with this clutch bag and yeah like once everyone's got the wallets who's ordered them and once everyone's got these. I think loads of these have already pre-sold because you guys obviously have very good taste so I hope these reach you safely and timely and that you love them as much as I do because like they really do make you I don't know but I feel I feel cooler. I feel <laughs> that's so lame. I feel like more sophisticated. Like every time I pull this out I just think I know isn't it cool and I feel like everyone's looking at it which they might not be but it feels like they are. If you'd like to pre-order one of these much awaited bad boys for yourself I will link be directly below to the products on Evelina's website. <laughs> You're right Moon Moon. It's the five minutes a day that she's awake. <laughs> so these things are a little bit fancy they're made of very good quality materials as Evelina said in her video about this bag, the spikes, for example, are stainless steel. So they're not going to rust and they're not going to do that thing that a lot of spikes and things do that I've seen in other products where like the coating comes off and you end up with this sort of like cheap brass underneath. No, that will not happen. Just good quality. Hopefully these should last you a long time of looking awesome. Thank you very much for watching and joining my excitement at having another two bags in the Black Friday collection. It does sound like um, there are going to be like a variety of more products. Like maybe that's it for bags. I don't know. It sounds like we might be branching out into doing some other kinds of products soon. So, ooh, ah. Uh. This was just to let you know that these things now exist 
list and they're available for pre-order if you want to look and feel as cool as I do when I hold them. <laughs> Let us know in the comments if this is the kind of thing that you would carry, if this is your style. And if you have not already done so, please subscribe to my lovely channel. You know you want to. Become one of us. We're cooler than everyone else. So yeah, as always, take care of yourselves, be nice to each other, stay spooky, and I'll see you next time. Bye!